Ronnie Govender was born on 16 May 1934 into a family of 10 in Cato Manor, which was destroyed by the Group Areas Act. He was conscientized by the stark injustice of apartheid that relegated him, his family and thousands of Indians to the outskirts of Durban on the east coast of South Africa. Listening to the stories by his mum, grandmother and impressed by the groundbreaking articles of his journalist brother, Gonnie, in Drum Magazine, Ronnie was infused with the power of words. Thus, from the tender age of 13, when he felt helpless in the face of the gross injustices of apartheid, Ronnie turned to writing stories and plays to paint a different reality from that being purveyed by the apartheid oppressor. This was part of the process of fostering self-belief amongst the oppressed. Then life took over. His parents somehow managed to feed, clothe and educate eight children. He wrote for the communist newspaper, New Age, to pay for his law studies at UCT. The, this poem is called, Who Am I? Who am I? I have been called an Indian, South African Indian, Indian South African, Kuli, Amakula, Amandia, Charo. Who am I? I am like my father and my mother and their fathers and their mothers before them, a cane cutter, housewife, mendicant, slave, market gardener, ship bucket carrier, factory worker, midwife, freedom fighter, trade unionist, builder of schools, of orphanages, poet, writer, nurse, embraced by the spirit of Cato Manor, unbowed, unbroken, I am of Africa, surging with the spirit of the Mgeni as it flows from the Drakensberg through the valley of a thousand hills, of the timeless Karoo, clothed in a myriad feinboss blooms, I am of Africa, Africa pulsing with the spirit of Lumumba and Rutuli, of Rick Turner, of Lenny Naidu, of Belliamon, Bram Fisher, Timol and Effigy, of Victoria and Griffiths and Kanga, whose assassins lurk in the shadows, their voices still spreading the venom of race hate, of internecine strife, and who seek to deny me what is mine, given me by Thambi Naidu, Dadu, Naika, Rutuli and Mandela given me through the loins of Baker's Van and Dorosami, through the womb of housewife Chelema on 16th May 1934 in a humble abode in Cato Manor. They will not displace me, for I know who I am. I am an African. Thank you. During his spare time, without funding, he formed the Shah Theatre Academy with Dr. Muthal Naidu and went on to train some of the country's leading actors without remuneration. He was also a founding executive member of the South African Soccer Federation Professional League and a pioneer of the sports and cultural boycott. Eleven years later, he was forced to quit teaching as a result of his political activism. He joined South African breweries as a sales rep. Eighteen years later, he went on early retirement to convert a rundown restaurant into a community theatre. This was followed by other periods as marketing manager of the Baxter Theatre in Cape Town and four years as the CEO of the Playhouse Theatre Complex in Durban. In between, there was marriage, four children and eight grandchildren. During all this time, Ronnie's passion for words and storytelling resulted in 16 plays, two novels, a memoir and a book of short stories that garnered him the Commonwealth Writers' Prize for Best First Book Africa in 1990. His writing speaks eloquently and incisively about his beloved Cato Manor, and the injustices of apartheid. The power of his words also saw him receive some of the highest awards in the land. The Order of Kamenga, nation's highest award in the arts from the state president. The Lifetime Achievement Award from the Department of Arts and Culture. Lifetime Achievement Award, Arts and Culture Trust South Africa. Honorary Professor, UKZN. Honorary Doctorate, DUT. Living Legend Award, from the KZN Premier's office. Ronnie was as colourful as his storytelling, warm, affectionate, incisive and generous. He shared his experience and wisdom on public platforms, intimate groups and with friends and family. Of the many titles, beloved husband, loving father, teacher, playwright, novelist, director and mentor, Ronnie is best known simply as Uncle Ronnie.
He will be remembered as a fearless activist whose creative spirit fought for the dignity of humanity with every chapter of his remarkable life. Thank you.